Hi and welcome back to the Khan for Educators course. Once you have assigned the content and the students have started to attempt the exercises, you will obviously be curious about how your students are performing and the time that they have spent learning. Khan Academy has inbuilt tools that can help you know what is happening in the classroom and at the individual student level. In this video, we will cover assignment reports available to you on Khan Academy and the immediate action steps that you can take based on those reports. So let's begin. Assignment reports will help you understand the progress made by the students. To look at the assignment reports of your class, go to your teacher dashboard to view assignment data. Click on the class for which you want to see the assignment reports. Once you are in the class, under Assignments in the left-hand menu, under Teacher Tools, click on the Scores tab. You will see a table with student performance on all assignments that you have given. This is a color-coded report specially for teachers to quickly understand where their overall class is. As you can see, there are assignments against the list of students. If it's green, it means they've got a 100% score. If it's yellow, they have scored between 51 and 99. And if it's red, they have scored 50 or less and are struggling with it. For videos and articles, a green tick mark indicates that they have completed watching the video or reading an article. If you are assessing your reports from your smartphone, you will need to scroll down once you click the Assignment tab to view your reports. If we look vertically and if there are a lot of reds for a particular assignment, it can indicate that a majority of the students have not understood a particular topic and that topic could be revisited in a class by the teacher. Similarly, if we look horizontally and there is a student who has a lot of red scores, it indicates that the student is consistently struggling and needs some extra intervention. You could allot them extra work and ask them to re-attempt the exercises after. In case you are using your smartphone, click on Scores and please scroll down to see the reports. Click on any student's name to view more details about that student, including their performance on all assignments so far. For more detailed reports, click the Manage link on the left-hand side. When the students complete the assignment, you can view their performance by clicking on the Fraction in the completed column. For each student, you will see the date and time of completion, the number of attempts and the best performance. This report is live and will auto-refresh every 15 seconds as students are working. This list can also be downloaded as a CSV and you can use it for your grading. If you want to go over a concept with your students, click on Responses. In this report, you will see which problems were the most challenging. You can pick a challenging problem, get your students to discuss it and explore why many students might have been confused. At the end of the discussion, you can reveal the answer and discuss any final misconceptions. Start small and assign a few concepts at a time. This will help you figure out a routine using the data and reports that work well for your classroom. Once you get comfortable, assign content from topics that you are currently teaching. But remember to mix it with the skills or topics taught earlier. Students will get practice on new as well previously covered concepts. Please make sure that you set up a weekly time for you to go through the student reports. Identify the concepts where students are struggling, most reds or yellow. Once you do that, Reteach the concept or conduct a doubt clearing session. 
identify the students who are struggling in most concepts and plan for how to support them. It could be extra time, videos to watch, or assigning a buddy to them. Last but not least, identify students who have mastered the topic and provide them with leadership building opportunities like supporting a peer to improve, mentoring a group of students, or being the math lead in class. You can also assign them advanced concepts to master or practice. If we want all our students to learn and do well, then it is important that we monitor their progress with a data driven approach and support them as per their needs. So please feel free to watch this video multiple times and understand how to make use of the data.